Welcome to the Teachers Colleges of Jamaica's ceremony for the presentation of Graduates 2020 in collaboration with the University of the West Indies. The Teachers Colleges of Jamaica, TCJ, is a consortium of eight teachers colleges offering bachelor's degrees in education in collaboration with the University of the West Indies. These colleges are Bethlehem Moravian College, Church Teachers College, College of Agriculture, Science and Education, G.C. Foster College of Physical Education and Sports, the Manig College, Sam Sharp Teachers College, Shortwood Teachers College, and St. Joseph's Teachers College. It is our pleasure to welcome you to the presentation ceremony of our graduates for the year 2020. Our college registrars are Miss Kenesha Daly, St. Joseph's, Miss Nicole Betton, Monique, Dr. Janet Williams, our communication, communications officer, Mrs. Carlene Davis Ramsey, Sam Sharp Teachers College, Mrs. Janite White Granston, Bethlehem Moravian College, and Mrs. Marva Watson, Church Teachers College. And now we go to the academic procession. The vice principals of the Teachers Colleges of Jamaica, Bethlehem Moravian Teachers College, Dr. Andrea Wilson. And as we wait for our procession to take place, Vice principals from the different colleges Bethlehem Moravian College. Church Teachers College. College of Agriculture, Science and Education. G.C. Foster College of Physical Education and Sports. Teachers College, and St. Joseph's Teachers College. Now we have the Director of the School of Education, UA, Dr. Marcia Rainford.
University Registrar, Dr. Maurice Smith. And now the principals of the Teachers Colleges of Jamaica. Bethlehem Moravian College, Mr. Clyde Evans. Teachers College, Dr. Garth Anderson, College of Agriculture, Science and Education, Dr. Derek Deslandes, the Monique College, Mr. Howard Isaacs. Sharp Teachers College, Dr. Lorna Gow Morrison. St. Joseph's Teachers College, Sister Dr. Gwendolyn Melhado. Our guest speaker for today, the Honorable. Fable Williams, Minister of Education, Youth and Information. Our mace bearer, Karian Blackwood of Sam Sharp Teachers College. The Deputy Principal of the University of the West Indies, Professor Ian Boxhill.
Let us pray. Almighty God, we give you thanks this morning for this opportunity we have as colleges and this mighty University of the West Indies to participate in a function where we celebrate our graduating class of the year 2020. A challenging year, a year with many, many issues that we have dealt with as institutions of learning. But this morning we give you thanks, Lord, that we have gathered together as your people to celebrate. And even as we participate in this function today, we ask for your presence, we ask for your leading, and most of all, God, we praise you because you are worthy to be praised. Father God, we give you thanks and we glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good morning. Honorable Minister Faber Williams, principals of the community colleges, University Registrar, University of the West Indies, Director, the School of Education, the Academic Vice Principals, Deans, distinguished members of the audience. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this graduation ceremony. We are met here today in order that we may mark by formal ceremony the entry of certain of our members into the company of graduates and the academic achievement of others. As a university, we are an academic society of undergraduates, bachelors, masters, and doctors. And we follow the academic tradition in the pursuit of knowledge and the encouragement of learning purposes which are laid down in the preamble of the Royal Charter by which we have been granted the powers needful for the prosecution of our affairs. In pursuing these aims, our members advance from time to time to a higher standing in the academic community. And it is proper that as a body, we should celebrate their achievement. It is marked by the granting of a degree or diploma or license or certificate. And we rejoice with their graduates on their achievements. I now call on our guest speaker, the Honorable Favor Williams, Minister of Education, Youth and Information, to address the company. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Let me begin by acknowledging Professor Ian Boxhill, Deputy Principal, University of the West Indies, Mona. Dr. Maurice Smith, University Registrar. Other representatives of the University of the West Indies, principals, vice principals, and other representatives from the Teachers Colleges of Jamaica. Representatives from the Joint Board of Teacher Education, graduating class specially invited guests, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It is indeed my great honor and pleasure to be with you today for the presentation ceremony of the 2020 graduates of the Teachers Colleges of Jamaica. I join in extending congratulations to you the graduating class for having successfully completed your course of study as you make strides in your professional development as educators. 
I also bring greetings on behalf of the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information on this special day as you celebrate the hard work and dedication you have put into your studies over the last several years. You would have had the benefit of being trained by some of the finest and most experienced educators in Jamaica. You have been exposed to new perspectives in ped pedagogy and encouraged to apply your creativity within an education system with many challenges. The reality is the traditional models of tertiary education will not satisfy the contemporary demands of our society or the needs of the new global labor market. We in the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information accept this reality and are implementing policies and programs to meet the multiple demands of the social and economic development of Jamaica. Indeed, as we have observed over the past year, the imperative of mastering the use of information communication technology, ICT, as a teaching tool from the early childhood to tertiary level has been brought into sharper focus. As a country, we have no option but to adopt. The world is moving in a particular direction that embraces more use of digital technology, and we have to be very much in step with global trends. As you would be aware, the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information has established partnerships with several tertiary institutions focused on continuing to strengthen the capacity of the teachers across the education system to manage learning management systems and plan lessons and engage students in learning in an online environment. To this end, 120 teachers selected from the primary, secondary, and tertiary levels have begun a program to be trained as trainers by the UWI Open Campus to support ongoing professional development of teachers focused on strengthening their capacity to plan and engage learning in an online environment. In addition, 17,000 primary and secondary teachers have been participating in a series of certificate programs. This is part of the overarching philosophy of the ministry to tailor an education system that is more aligned to preparing our young people for their jobs that are needed in this new world of ever evolving technological advancements. Within this context, you must keep in mind that even as you have completed this part of your educational journey, it is but one step in your career and professional development. Today, you have set the stage of becoming the next group of educators who will shape the character of tomorrow's society and workforce. As such, your achievement is not just for you and your friends and family. It's an achievement for our country. No doubt you're well aware that there are growing demands for a shift from traditional based teaching, largely based on theoretical education processes, to a research and theory based teaching that informs and inspires teaching practices. This has significant implication for teacher education and training. Teachers are expected to do regular research for possible future teaching innovations 
and incorporating new research findings in their teaching practices to improve learning and assure high quality teaching. Teachers, professional training and professional development are therefore necessary ingredients to support innovation and beneficial teaching. There must therefore be alignment between society's expectations and the performance and deliverables of the higher education sector. This requires appropriate standards, institutional capacities and engagement, as well as research that will seek to address societal problems and major issues that exist. There is therefore a need to provide access to both broad general education and targeted career specific teaching education focused on skills and aptitudes, both of which will equip individuals to live in a variety of changing settings and to be able to change occupations. Higher education, such as is offered by the teachers' colleges and other tertiary institutions, should therefore serve society and local communities through teaching, research, and service to respond to issues of poverty, violence, environmental degradation, and disease. Within this context, Continuing professional development helps the teachers to keep their professional knowledge and skills updated. Targeting, targeted training helps teachers to learn new techniques in teaching students of this generation. It also helps the teachers to grow professionally and at the same time improve their classroom skills. We're proud of the work of the Teachers Colleges of Jamaica, the Joint Board of Teacher Education, and the School of Education here at UWI Mona for the excellent work you continue to do in the field. This collaborative initiative among the teacher training colleges bodes well for the education system. The commitment of your individual institutions and collectively, under the umbrella of the Teaching Council of Jamaica, to provide high-quality programs has been amply demonstrated by your responsiveness to the increasing demand for and access to quality higher educational opportunities across the island. The excellent record of accomplishment of many of your graduates in both employment and further studies speaks well for the progress made by the teachers' colleges and the UWI School of Education over the years. The Ministry of Education, Youth and Information applauds the teachers' colleges of Jamaica for your responsiveness and agility in designing programs for our contemporary society. You have held steadfast to the mandate of your predecessors. Keep up the good work. Graduates, your families, friends, lecturers, and the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information are proud of you today. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you, Minister. I will now call on the Money College Choir to sing for the company. to call 
the morning choir for that rendition. And at this time, I will call on Dr. Garth Anderson, Dean of the Teachers Colleges of Jamaica, Dean of the Teachers Colleges of Jamaica, to address the company. Honorable Favel Williams, Minister of Education, Youth and Information, Professor Ian Boxhill, Deputy Principal, UWI Mona, Dr. Marcia Renford, Director, the School of Education, Dr. Marie Smith, Registrar, UWI, Principals of the Teachers' Colleges of Jamaica, Vice Principals of the Teachers' Colleges of Jamaica, Representatives of the Joint Board, other representatives of the Joint Board of Teacher Education, specially invited guests, parents, and other family members, graduates. I am delighted to be sharing in the graduation ceremony for the fifth batch of graduates under the partnership agreement with the Teachers Colleges of Jamaica and the University of the West Indies Mona and to celebrate with them on this momentous occasion. This year's graduation is of great significance for several reasons, especially for the changes and challenges occasioned by COVID-19. But celebrate we must, even virtually, the fruits of our 792 students labor who will be conferred with the Bachelor of Education degrees in various specializations. This is no mean feat, given the less than desirable conditions under which it was done in the last semester of the academic year 2019-2020. Our resilience was tested collectively and as individuals. However, this occasion provides the opportunities for us to put our creative abilities, problem solving and collaborative skills on show and here we are celebrating the outcome of our endeavors on this special occasion. The resilience of the TCJ and UWI partnership enable us to be able to provide opportunities for our students to complete their programs without compromising the standards that characterizes the Bachelor of Education degree. We were able to do this because of the long established quality assurance mechanisms and the hard work and dedication of administrators, lecturers, and of course our students who displayed resilience and great fortitude. Our students continue to invest their trust in us even when the pathway is uncertain at times. Students, you have demonstrated commitment to your chosen profession. We know that it was not easy, but you pushed through, and now you have burst forth ready to add value to the teaching profession, and while you are at it, to ask you to reflect on these words from Paul O'Freire. The teacher is, of course, an artist, but being an artist does not mean that he or she can make the profile, can shape the students. What the educator does in teaching is to make it possible for the students to become themselves. I challenge you, therefore, to take the resilient spirit and sow seeds of success and innovation in your classrooms, whether they are virtual or brick and mortar, carry the mottos and philosophies 
of your respective institutions as torches and craft your mission statements to reflect love, dedication, discipline, and determination to meet your students where they are and to take them to the heights of their capabilities. These and the knowledge and skills you have garnered during your tenure with us will position you to be game changers in this ever evolving education landscape. My sincere congratulations to you and I must remind you that having received your degrees is just the beginning. You will need to continue to acquire new skills because in this world, education is and the demands of it is an ongoing process. You must continue to equip yourselves to meet these changes so that you can contribute to the development of our society. I must also recognize parents, well-wishers, spouses, friends, and other family members, faculty, support staff, and all who would have stood with you and with us so that we can achieve our goals today. You have fought a good fight. Let us keep the faith and work together to make the world a better place. I leave with you these words from an unknown writer. The future is not somewhere you are going. It is somewhere you are creating. And the path is not to be found but made. And time changes both the maker of the path and his destiny. May God continue to bless you as you continue to give service above self. Deputy Principal, the persons whose names will be called are studied in the Teachers Colleges of Jamaica, and having fulfilled the requirements of the University of the West Indies, beg leave to be presented to you and to the Senate of the University by the representative of their college as Bachelors of Education of the University of the West Indies. Sir, the Dean, Teachers Colleges of Jamaica, Dr. Garth Anderson. Sir, my colleagues and I ask that you receive as graduate members of our society these persons present who, having fulfilled the requirements of the university, have been admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Education. By the authority vested in me, I receive these persons whose names are about to be called and those who are unable to attend as graduate members of our society. Sir, I call on the vice principals of the eight teachers' colleges of Jamaica to present the graduates of their respective institution. Sir, I call on Dr. Sharon Gardner to present the graduates of Bethlehem Moravian College. Sir, I present the graduates from the Bethlehem Moravian College. Bethlehem Moravian College. Kadisha Brooks, First Class Honors. Justine Blackwood. Amoy Days, First Class Honors. Julian Dennis Smith, First Class Honors. 
Chanel Espute. Chevelle Fowler. Lacian Gordon. Shireen Gordon. Jodian Harvey. Glacia Hibbert. First class honors. Chanel Morgan Hamilton. First class honors. Shanake Peter. First class honors. Kimani Roach. First class honors. Nikita Reed. Cheyenne Robinson. First class honors. Shauna K. Samuels. First class honors. Theresian Samuels. Sharika Sanderson, first class honors. Anord Sishin Samwe. Kalisha Smith, first class honors. Jessica Smith. Renea Sutherland. Timothy Tullo. Bernard Willard Reed, first class honors. Salian Williams. Danique Williamson, first class honors. Sir, I call on Dr. David Palmer to present the graduates of the College of Agriculture, Science, and Education. Sir, I present the graduates of the College of Agriculture, Science, and Education. College of Agriculture, Science, and Education. Sandrine Brown, first class honors. Chantel Bryan. Marsha Nika Leng. Letitia Lawrence. Dylan Levas, first class honors. Shanika Malcolm, first class honors. Deja Sue Morgan. Lisa Stewart. Nastasia Thomas, Stephanie Wiggins, Paulette Wignall, Ayashika Williams, Shannon Danhai Adams, Rita Parkinson, First Class Honors. Sir, I call on Dr. Monica Dempster to present the graduates of the Church Teachers College, Mandeville.
Sir, I present the graduates from Church Teachers College, Mandeville. Church Teachers College. Kasanik Adams. Serena Anderson, First Class Honors. Tamika Ashman. Rasheen Bartley. Valerie Bartley. Trishana Benjamin, First Class Honors. Kenesha Bennett Ellis, First Class Honors. Ramire Bent. Shane Black, First Class Honors. Leonie Brown, First Class Honors. Shalene Brown, First Class Honors. Daniel Buchanan. Michelle Campbell, First Class Honors. Amoy Chedesing. Anika Codlin. Ava Neil Cole. Chrisanne Craig. Ashe Davis. Sanya Davis, First Class Honors. Melissa Davy, Dania Dawkins, First Class Honors. Janoy Dennis, First Class Honors. Shanique Dona, First Class Honors. Hamret Dryden. Rochelle Dwyer, First Class Honors. Safra Dwyer, Donna Ebanks, First Class Honors, Tamara Elliott, First Class Honors, Tamika Elliott, First Class Honors, Rochelle Ellis, Shante Ellis, First Class Honors, Astasia Farkison, Chantal Farkison, Rashoy Flynn, First Class Honors, Shana K. Forbes, Lejean Foster, First Class Honors, Yuton Francis, First Class Honors, Kimisha Fraser, First Class Honors. Althea Gordon. Sarah Gordon, First Class Honors. Kenesha Gottschalk, First Class Honors. Adam Greensward, First Class Honors. Opalyn Hall, Melrose Haslam, First Class Honors. Gail Henry. Zoya Hunter, First Class Honors. Aliyah Ingram. Trisha Johnson, First Class Honors. Tanisha Carr, First Class Honors. Kimberly Lake, First Class Honors. Tiffany Lewis, First Class Honors. Trisha Lewis, First Class Honors. Kenine Lothian, First Class Honors. Shavis Marshall, First Class Honors. Melissa McLeod, First Class Honors. Kimisha Morgan, First Class Honors. Josiane Morrison, First Class Honors.
Brittany Mossop, First Class Honors. Sophia Palmer, First Class Honors. Antoinette Powell. Rakesha Powell, First Class Honors. Kazra Rankin, First Class Honors. Garcia Ratri, First Class Honors. Erica Reed, First Class Honors. Cadelia Reed. Romel Richards Griffiths. Tiana Richards, First Class Honors. Kelise Robinson, First Class Honors. Peter Gay Rose. Gawain Rowe, First Class Honors. Suwain Sloth, First Class Honors. Shanique Senior. Tonian Sharif Williams, First Class Honors. Simone Sherman McLean, First Class Honors. Sharmelia Sitladin, First Class Honors. Michelle Smith. Nikara Smith. Julian Solomon. Monique Stone. Chantel Stubbs, First Class Honors. Tony Taylor. Kimberly Taylor Morgan. Yannick Thomas, First Class Honors. Judith Tyndale. Christian Vaughn Littleton, First Class Honors. Anna K. Vaughn, First Class Honors. Paul Walker, First Class Honors. Trisha Gay Walker. Princess Walters. Kimberly Watson, First Class Honors. Patrice White. Shanta Williams, First Class Honors. Kayan Williams, First Class Honors. Kalia Williams. Najela Williams, First Class Honors. Sasha Gay Williams. Sanjita Williamson, First Class Honors. Vanessa Williamson. Kashika Wright. Kalisha Wright, First Class Honors. Sir, I now call on Mrs. Denise Stoney James to present the graduates of the G.C. Foster College of Physical Education and Sport. Sir, I present the graduates from G.C. Foster College of Physical Education and Sport. G.C. Foster College of Physical Education and Sports. Asha Lee Gordon, First Class Honors. Sasha Gay Green. Taifa James. Monet Sewell. 
Nastasia Townsend. Tajera Williams. Sir, I call on Mr. Leroy Harvey to present the graduates of the Monique College. Sir, I present the graduates from the Monique College. The Monique College. Peter Gay Avis. Peter Gay Bailey Hamilton, first class honors. Cadian Barnett. Jodian Brown. Karian Brown, first class honors. Maxine Brown. Shanae Brown. Althea Buchanan Bryan. Renil Biles. Tashoya Caballero. Shante Campbell. Marie Campbell, first class honors. Suen Carr, first class honors. Marlene Chambers McFarlane, first class honors. Kalesia Cheese. Shasa Gay Clark, first class honors. Naret Craddock, Odain Douglas, Duval Ebbons, First Class Honors, Alethea Edwards, Tamira Edwards, Shantia Facey. Crystal Gooden, Cheyenne Graham, Aziza Hawes, Kamel Harrison, Melissa Heidel, Durando Johnson. Janelle Johnson, First Class Honors. Jessica Jones. Latoya Lindsay Clark, First Class Honors. Suan Linton. Julian Martin. Miguel Martin. Nikkei Martin Angela Martin Garrick First Class Honors Earl McDonald Kephany McKay Tamika McKay Kiefer Miller Leonardo Minto, Pat Marie Ormsby, Denisha Reed Johnson, Natasha Richards, Sammy Ann Rose, Raquel Simpson, Kareen Small. First Class Honors Nicole Solomon 
Melissa Taylor, First Class Honors. Raven Taylor. Moya Thomas, First Class Honors. Sasha K. Trout. Rudian Valentine. Sedina Vickers Forrest, First Class Honors. Lashane Williams. Whitney Williams. Ordain Wisdom. Sir, I call on Mr. Robert Edwards to present the graduates of the Sam Sharp Teachers College. Sir, I present to you the graduates of Sam Sharp Teachers College. Sam Sharp Teachers College. Peter Gay Anglin. Sophine Benin. Kadeen Bennett. Karian Blackwood, First Class Honors. Sashika Boname. Gavaris Brown. Maisha. Brown Sanjay Brown Tashana Brown Shanique Boddington First Class Honors Jewett Campbell First Class Honors Abiola Carey First Class Honors Daniel Christian Teresa Clark. Yamoy Clark. Shanoi Cox, First Class Honors. Isilina Daly Brown. Sinandre Earl. Chanel Edwards, First Class Honors. Tashika Ellis. Shanagi Findlay, First Class Honors. Davina Fletcher. Latina Fletcher. Alicia Forrester, First Class Honors. Shellyan Gale. Elizabeth Gordon. Cassand Graham, First Class Honors. Rowena Henry Ferguson. Latifa James, First Class Honors. Claudia Johnson. Vanessa Johnson Williams. Opran Jones, First Class Honors. Simone Kellier. Nikisha King. Jodian Levy. Shamalia Livingston. Amanda Lynch, First Class Honors. Shanika Malhoda. Shanique McFarlane. Claude Lee McKenzie, First Class Honors. Avia McCray Maduri. Janelle Moody, First Class Honors. Diana Nesbitt. 
Bradley Palmer. Tanisha Reed, First Class Honors. Roxroy Roach. Danielle Robinson. Jenny Samuels. Melissa Samuels Gray Green. Cadian Smith, First Class Honors. Latanya Stewart. Audia Thomas. Tony Thomas, First Class Honors. Tanisha Tomlinson, First Class Honors. Ereson Walker. Tricia Watkins. Wayne Whitaker. Anik Wilson, First Class Honors. Chrisan Wright. Deandra Wright. Obina Wright. Kamara Young Dunkley, First Class Honors. Sir, I call on Dr. Janet Williams to present the graduates of the Shortwood Teachers College. Sir, I present the graduates from Shortwood Teachers College. Shortwood Teachers College. Deidre Allen Matthew Bartlett First Class Honors Vivia Berry Faye Marie Brown Gordon First Class Honors Daniel Bryan Shanika Bryan Hobbs First Class Honors Odisha Clooney, First Class Honors. Samuel Davis, First Class Honors. Shalane Dyer, First Class Honors. Shanaki Francis. Derisha Garrison. Michelle Garvey. Shanice Gray, First Class Honors. Karian Harris Bedward, First Class Honors. Paula Paws Ryan, First Class Honors. Ariel Henry. Karen Henry, First Class Honors. Abigail Jackson. Alicia Johnson, Sharmali Johnson, Shanika Lee, Tishana McGowan, Sarah May Moore, Donna Gay Morgan, Tashana Perrin Sophia Robinson Dwyer First Class Honors Shavanese Senior First Class Honors Leha Smith First Class Honors Shalamara Waldron Janice Walford Davonia Watson, Terza Wright,
Sir, I call on Mrs. Winsome Francis to present the graduates of the St. Joseph's Teachers College. Sir, I present the graduates from St. Joseph's Teachers College. St. Joseph's Teachers College. Avagi Bernard. Carisha Brown. Alicia Campbell. Suzanne Campbell. Tamian Campbell. First Class Honors. Ramon Davis. First Class Honors. Daniel Deans, Keisha Edwards Williams, First Class Honors. Shanice Findlater, Suzette Fisher Bogle, Veronica Fleming, Trishana Hall Brown, First Class Honors. Dana Hunt, First Class Honors. Chola Jackson Reed, First Class Honors. Clara Johnson, Marlene Jones, Dahlia Carr, Glenna Lee Campbell, First Class Honors. Tishana Lewis, First Class Honors. Sharika Maraj, First Class Honors. Sasha K. Mignot. Esther N. Sander, First Class Honors. Michelle Phillips Skyers. Ronette Pitter. Therese Pusey, First Class Honors. Janelle Reed. Lilith Riley. Dion Searchwell, First Class Honors. Helene Smith, First Class Honors. Kimona Smith. Nyanda Smith. Christine Tapper. Crystal Tapper. First Class Honors. Natalie Tomlinson. Shereen Williams Davis. Everdeen Williams. Paula K. Willoughby, Anise Wongken, First Class Honors, Leonie Young, First Class Honors. I now call on the class valedictorian Kenesha Bennett Ellis to deliver the valedictory address. Minister of Education, Youth and Information, the Honorable Favel Williams, Deputy Principal, Professor Ian Boxill, Dean of the Teachers Colleges of Jamaica, Dr. Garth Anderson, the Deans of Faculties, the Vice Principals, 
graduates, friends, families, and well-wishers, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant afternoon to you all. I am honored to be given the opportunity to speak on behalf of the graduating class of 2020. Indeed, this is an auspicious occasion, and I am humbled to represent you all. We hear multiple times that the heights of great men reached and kept were not attained by sudden flight, but they, while their companions slept, were toiling upwards through the night. Indeed, it was an uphill climb, but look at us now. We stand proudly on the top of the hill while looking down at the valleys of despair and the hillsides of rugged terrains that tried to impede our dreams. Yes, we have conquered, and we have proved that we are master climbers. For many of us, our freshman year was a blur. We stood at the base of the mountain trying to find a perspective on how to get to the summit. There was no clear path as our vantage point was somewhat obscured with the many challenges that stood before us. Many of us were allergic to the heavy downpours called financial obligations which dampened our spirits. For others, it was a rugged pathway formed by academic requirements that immensely challenged our goals. They were the Goliaths on our path, but as we all know, even Goliaths can be defeated. We acquired the tools that we needed to start our ascent, and then we chose our routes to get to the peak. We strapped on our harness, readied our axes, and put on our shoes, and we set off to challenge the sloping slides and sharp ridges of our academic journey. We made camp at the end of first semester, to reflect on the journey behind us. We rested and rejuvenated, ready to continue on our ascent to today, our peaks, our victory. Some of us had to shift our perspectives and adjust our expectations to meet the reality ahead of us. Some found safer and easier routes to take us to our destination, while others continued to hike the familiar path. The higher we trekked, the better our vantage point became. Many of us only found the path in second year after we realized the hilly terrain of first year when the exam grades jolted us back to reality. We may have missed a few steps and stumbled along the way, but our lecturers, which were the guide along our journey, led us to safety. As we continued on our path, there were many guiding pillars that provided much needed motivation. We unearthed the courage, pledging the words of Shortwood Teachers College, committed to growth and enlightenment. As the coursework pieces flooded the way and threatened us with a landslide of impending failure, we found an anchor in the words of GC Foster College, a sound mind in a sound body. And having persevered through the challenging times, we remember the words of Monique College, and we soared to heights of wisdom. As we approached the summit, the road became more precarious. There were cliffs like teaching practice, which sought to derail us. Though we all had varying experiences, teaching practice proved to be a true test of our character and fortitude. Many of the students saw the royal blue of, say, Bethlehem and the gray and white of teachers, Church Teachers College as a sign to challenge our authority. But thankfully, we were equipped with the powerful and priceless tools, which were our classroom management skills, which we used to overcome. As we came closer to our destination, another precipice presented itself before us, research. We tried to devise ways to get around it, but we soon realized that the only way forward was through it. We had been foretold of the harsh conditions which existed along this course, the late nights, the hard work. It was enough to make us want to give up entirely, but we weathered the storm. We used our acts of knowledge, our harness of faith, 
and our shoes of hard work to climb the steep embankment, and we have emerged the victors. As we climbed to the peak, some of us became distracted with time-wasting obstacles. The final leg of the journey seemed easy, and some of us became complacent, but then we were thrown another curveball, COVID-19. It seemed as if it was he it, there were rocks falling around us, which could have easily swept us away, but we had a shelter, a safe haven, our Lord who picked us up and carried us through. So in spite of COVID, we have a reason to smile. Our creativity and the integration of technology came to the fore, and we stood mightily with our gears ready to persevere to the finish line. We tipped the scale, we shifted the dynamics, and we have arrived. We fought the good fight, we ran the good race, and today we can look back at the journey behind us with pride. My dream, which is so eloquently captured in the popular song by Nesbeth, has been actualized in this moment. My dream, your dream, our dreams have been realized. Class of 2020, we have made it. Just like the proverbial eagle, we have soared to higher heights and we are here to celebrate our victory. We are overcomers. The world is our oyster and we are poised to take on its many challenges. From the pinnacle, we now have a better perspective of our journey and it would be remiss of me not to thank everyone who was instrumental in our climb. In the words of the famous reggae artist Coffee, gratitude is a must, so toast to all the persons who contributed in one way or the other to our success stories. To our lecturers, you all played a pivotal role in preparing us to be the game changers that we are today. You saw in us what we could not even imagine for ourselves. You gave unselfishly and unreservedly of yourselves so we could realize our full potential. We were like the multitude that sat by the feet of a great teacher, hungry for knowledge, and indeed, we were fed. We are the products of your handiwork. We salute you. To the administrative, ancillary, security, and other members of staff, to you we owe an eternal debt of gratitude. Many of you became like family to us. Your kindness has been emblazoned on the canvases of our hearts. We must also pause to extend gratitude to the Teachers Colleges of Jamaica, TCJ, the Joint Board of Teacher Education, JBTE, the principals and vice principals of the respective colleges, and the University of the West Indies, Mona. To our families, friends, and well-wishers, you are the real MVPs. Big up to the original daddies, the magnificent mommies, the glamorous grandmas, and the remarkable relatives who traverse the path with us. A special shout out to the spouses who supported us throughout. Danardo, I couldn't have done this without you. To all the persons who supported us in one way or the other, we are truly grateful. Finally, to much whom is given, much is expected. To the Josephites, may your motto be your guide, peace and every good. To the Bethlehemites, remember that our care is for the future. I charge us as graduates to give of our services meticulously. My fellow history makers, we are at the finish line and we have been officially ushered into the real world. We are the leaders and innovators, the change that this world so desperately needs. We must aim to leave the world better than how we met it. Let us live by example as we embody the principles of dignity, discipline, and decorum. I know the challenges will come, but even when we are pressed on every side, we will not be crushed. Remember your motivation. Churchites, commit to memory and never forget to nurture through love and wisdom. 
keep your head high and say to yourself, I am a success story. Indeed, you are a success story. We are success stories. Let us go forward championing the words of Sam Sharp, which are service, commitment, and excellence. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this brings to a close the public ceremony by which the University of the West Indies has signalized the award of degrees to its graduates. The company will now disperse, but not before permitting me to escort the Honorable Minister, our invited guest speaker, and allowing the procession to leave. Thank you. Have a good evening.